onto your uh, pulmonary assistant. So would you mind dropping the top part of your gown down so I can see your chest? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm just starting by inspecting uh, your chest. I don't see any, um, you don't seem to be laboring or breathing. Um, everything looks good. The color of your skin looks nice and healthy. You can go ahead and palpate for any crepitus or masses and let me know if you feel any tenderness. Feel any crepitus? I'm gonna go ahead and test for tactile firmness. Go ahead and say 99. 99. 99. 99. Good. I felt even vibrations on both sides. Um, and I'm also going to ch check for your chest excursion. So I'm gonna do this and go ahead and breathe in for me. Good. And my fingers spread apart evenly, which means your chest is rising even on both sides. I'm gonna go ahead and for cuts. Um, to hear your body sounds, okay? I should hear a good hollow sound. Can you lift up your bra for me? Sign. Okay, everything sounds good. You can go ahead and listen to your breath sounds um, in the same pattern. So go ahead and breathe. Okay? Everything sound, your lung sounds were nice and clear. I didn't hear any adventitious breath sounds. Okay, so now I'm gonna have you look around on the bed and I'm going to do the same thing on your back. Okay, all right. So I'm inspecting, your color looks good. Um, your shoulder blades are even. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and palpate a little farther down. I palpated up here earlier. For any crepitus or masses, no tenderness you're feeling? Nope. Okay, good. I'm gonna go ahead and test tactile from this. 99. 99. 99. 99. Okay, good. And I uh, felt even vibrations all around there. One thing I'm gonna do is test your transverse diameter versus your posterior diameter. So I'm gonna take this diameter here and make sure that it's half of your back, and it is. So you have um, even transverse posterior diameter. Um, and let's see, so I'm gonna start, uh, oh, I'm gonna do chest excursion. So go ahead and breathe in for me. Good, breathe out. <laughs> okay. No, sorry, it's okay. <laughs> and the chest excursion was normal like it was on the front. My hands spread apart evenly. I'm gonna go ahead and pal, uh, percuss your uh, lungs for region. Sounds good there. I'm gonna go ahead and listen for any crackles or adventitious breath sounds again and breathe as I place the stethoscope. I mean, I, I did, I don't say like two hours ago. sounded good and clear, um, no adventitious breath sounds, no crackling. Um, the last thing I'm going to do is I am going to um, measure your diaphragmatic excursion. So what I want to do is have you lean forward a little bit and take a deep breath in and hold it for me. Okay. Oh my gosh. I didn't realize it. Sorry, sorry, sorry. You in the pool. Go ahead and breathe for me. Take a few deep breaths to re-oxygenate <laughs> yourself. I did that, didn't think of it. I wasn't winded. I'm good. Okay, so don't want you passing out on me. Breathe out and hold it.
Okay, breathe. Please. <laughs> Thank you. Oh boy, my pen. And this happens. Here it is. And right there. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Go ahead and breathe in for me and hold it. Right there and breathe. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> I don't know why I keep forgetting. <laughs> no, it's okay. I keep forgetting to tell you. All right, so go ahead and breathe in and hold, and then out and hold the exhalation. Okay. Breathe. Good. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and measure these marks I've made. And six centimeters on the left, and five centimeters on the right, and the right side is a little higher than the left, which is normal because that's where your liver is. All right, I've finished everything on your back side so you can turn. Okay, now I'm going to feel. Okay, patient is warm to touch, is dry and um did you have any pain with that no okay and had no tenderness um okay now i'm going to um okay now i'm gonna have you turn to the side a little bit i'm gonna lift up your shirt a little bit is that okay mm -hmm. okay I'm gonna have you um, take a big deep breath for me. Okay, thumbs expanded symmetrically and yes, okay. So now I'm gonna listen to some sounds. So I'm gonna have you breathe. Um, in through your mouth and out through your mouth, okay? Whenever I put those down. I'm going to do your side. I'm going to do some on your back. sounds on all lobes. Um, do you need anything else today? So today we're going to be doing the thorax and lung exam. So we're going to start off with an inspection. I'm looking at your lips and can see your fingernails, looking at the color of them, the texture, perfect. And I'm noticing her breathing patterns, looking to see if there's any abnormalities or asymmetry. 
uh, checking out all the structures for the chest, like your clavicle, ribs, sternum, all that, to make sure that there's symmetry. I'm also looking at the trachea, noticing if there's any deviation. And now I'm just going to place my middle finger just above your supra cervical notch here. And can I get you to swallow perfect? Uh, looking to see if there's a tug. Palpation. And then I'm going to place my hands just on the front of your rib cage. Is that okay? So having the patient take a deep breath in, noticing if there's equal symmetry. Perfect. And I'm going to do it on your back. And I'll get you to take a deep breath in again, noticing that the thumbs spread out equally. And I'm going to do it on the sides as well. Take a deep breath in. Perfect. And lastly, I'm going to do the A to P breathing. So I'm going to place my knife edge on her sternum. Wait, this maybe? Yeah, sure. Take a deep breath in and out. Perfect. And now I'm going to do the fremitus thingy. So I'll get the patient to cross her arms over. And I'm going to get you to say 99 for me, Tessa. 99. And again. 99. 99. 99. 99. Perfect. And just noticing vibrations for that. And last pulse. 99. And hmm. we're going to do it on the front as well. Yeah. Uh, thank you for creating a barrier. Can you say 99 again? 99, 99, 99, 99, 99. Lovely. Okay. A palpation. Percussion. We're going to go back here. And I'm going to be percussing in a, just going down the back here. <laughs> Noticing if there's any uh, differences in resonance along both sides, and I would make sure that this is skin to skin. Perfect. And now I'm going to auscultate and listen to uh, her breathing sounds in the back first. So Tessa, I'll get you to take just a slightly deeper than normal breath for me. Good. Keep going. And now we're going to do the front of our chest. So we're going to use the bell for the apical area. So I'm going to just flex the clavicle. Take a deep breath in. Another time. Perfect. Back to the diaphragm. Take a deep breath in for me. And then I would go under as well. Yeah, and then if I heard any bronchial sounds, I would do, I would either get her to say Scooby-Doo or E or Whisper Blue Moon, and I would listen on the posterior aspect of her back for that. Cool.